Okay, suppose you, you have a radar station here and there's a, there, there's a plane flying directly <coughs> above it. And uh, so right above it there's a, there's a plane and the altitude of the plane is four kilometers from the ground. So this, this radar it is drawn out of scale. It's, it's really, compared to four kilometers, this is really tiny. Okay? It's more like a point. And the, the plane is flying horizontally at the speed of 560 kilometers per hour. Find the rate at which the distance from the plane to the station is increasing. Find the rate uh, of distance from uh, the radar station to the plane. Uh, when it is It is 10 kilometers away from the station. Okay. <clears throat> so in order to understand this sentence, let's try to, to draw a simplified version of this picture. So what's happening is initially there's four, this is fixed, but then this point is moving. At some point, the, the distance between the radar station and the plane is about 10 kilometers. Up. This is 10 kilometers. And at this point, when it's 10 kilometers, you want to know how fast this distance is increasing. So this, this is a question where the relationship between the, the variables is not explicitly given. You don't see any equation. So that means you have to figure out the equation from geometry. Uh, so here are some tips. First, read the question carefully and try to draw a picture. Without any picture, it's really hard to know what's going on. Okay? And usually, the picture will be, uh, uh, I mean, in most cases, you're going to find a, a picture that's like a, a triangle. If it's a right triangle, that's probably the easiest of, of all. Uh, some, some questions would have more than one triangle. Uh, in that case, you may have to use similarity between triangles, and that's harder. Okay? Uh, some might even need a, uh, three-dimensional geometry that's even harder. Okay. We're going to do all of those. Okay. This, this is like the simplest one where you just have a right triangle, one single right triangle. That's the easiest. Okay. Uh, so I didn't write down the first sentence, but in the first sentence, there's something that corresponds to the derivative. What is it? In your worksheet. Speed, speed. Okay. So, in order to have that, I should mark this side as x. Uh, the speed of the plane is how fast the, the position is changing. Right? So I should put an x there, so that dx dt is what? Five sixty, right? Five sixty. This number. <coughs> and then, do you see any other derivative? You should have at least two derivatives if it's a related rates question. Okay. You need a derivative of the distance from the station to the plane. So it's the rate. You see another derivative here. So here's the station and the plane. And it's, we're talking about the rate of change of this thing. 
And therefore, we have to come up with another variable for this. Let's, let's say this is y. Okay? So the question is asking what? dy dt. Okay. Now you have to look for the word when. Do you see it? Yes. Right here. Okay. So when. What should I write here? 10, 10 equal to y. Y equal to 10. If you just say 10, what does that mean? You don't know. But see, this from this picture, we're, we're really looking at the change of the y with respect to t when y is equal to 10. Right? So y is equal to 10. That immediately tells us that you would, we should never use this value y equals to 10 before we differentiate. Okay? Only after we differentiate, we're going to use this y equals 10. That's very important. OK. Now we have to come up with a relationship between x and y because I'm given one rate of change, and using this, I have to figure out another rate of change. And in order to do so, I have to know the relationship between x and y. What is it? What's the relationship between x and y? Hmm? Pythagorean theorem. Yes, exactly. You have a right triangle. That's why the, the, the related rates question with the single triangle, single right triangle is the easiest. It's the easiest because all you have to do is just the Pythagorean theorem. Okay? So you just say 4 squared plus x squared equals to y squared. Immediately you have an equation. You can differentiate this. So this is a relationship. These are the two given rates. Okay? To get the relationship between the rates, we have to differentiate. Let's differentiate both sides. Where this prime is d, d, t. I'm differentiating with respect to t. Both x and y are functions of t. Remember this, OK? So if you differentiate 4 squared, it's 0 because it's a constant, OK? All right. And x, because it's a function of, function of t, x changes as, as time progresses, right? So. Uh, x is a function of t, which is nested inside the square function, which means you first differentiate x squared as a function of x, and then pull the inside function out and differentiate. How about this one? The same, same thing. 2y, but y is a function of t nested inside the square function, so you have to pull it out and differentiate. Okay, so we have the relationship between the um, between the x dx dt and d dy dt, uh, and then what should we do? Now plug it in, right? So dx dt is five sixty. X is what? Uh, that's not good. So let, let, let's leave it and then think about it later. Y is 10. ten. Now we can plug it in because we differentiate. It. Only after differentiating we can plug this value in. Dy dt is what we are trying to find. So that's okay. This is not okay. What should we do with x? You can do the Pythagorean theorem with y being ten. Yeah. When y is ten, this value is also determined, right? So if you're looking for dy dt when y is ten. That will certainly give you an x value. So let's try that. Um, I'll do it here. It's going to give you a weird number. Yeah, it, it, it is. Uh, so it's going to be x squared equal to 100 minus 16, which is 84. So x will be square root of 84. You can pull out a 4 out as 2, and that's 21. Okay. Two times square root of 21 is what you have, okay? So you have 2 times, 2 times square root of 21 times 560 divided by 20 is equal to dy dt. And if you cancel the zeros and cancel the twos, you end up with this answer. I'll write the, uh, the answer here. The answer is, uh, it's, one twelve. No. Yeah, one hundred twelve square root of twenty one 
equals to dy dt, right? So this is a uh, kilometers per hour. Because that's like 513. Okay, so approximately it's 513 point what? Five. Five kilometers per hour. Any questions?